All right, Shalom. Kahala Yahavu, Bahasham Yahashai, Bahasham Raka Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace salutations unto the hopeful elect. Once again, I am the brother Yahwasak. And the, the topic, tonight's topic, is entitled That We Abound in Hope. All right, that we abound in hope. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, that we abound in hope. It's basically based off a, a scripture, off a verse in Romans, the 15th chapter and the 13th verse, which Lord willing, I'll be going over real soon. But basically the, the, the inspiration of, uh, of me coming up with this title and, and hopefully edifying lesson this evening. It's based on one or two shows that I saw in the past week, all right, that dealt with the word hope, all right, and and one of them, one of them was was uh, one of them was given by the great apostle uh, Elder Gabar on his channel, Daily Edification Four, all right, and and I watched I watched his. His segment in its entirety, I think, when was it, a few weeks ago? Yeah, no, not a few weeks ago, a few days ago, just before so-called Thanksgiving. All right, it came out four days ago. And the title of the show is, Life May Be Bullshit, or Life May Be Bullshit, But We Have the Greatest Hope. I'm like others, all right? And so the elder Apostle Gabar, all right, he, he played a segment um, on this young looking, this young looking dude that you see in the center right there, all right? Uh, but I'm not going to play, I'm not going to play any of that clip. For those of you that might be interested, visit the, 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 the elder Apostle Gabar's channel. Daily edification for, and 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 you know you you go there for the rundown on on how this guy spoke in the video. Uh, you see, you already see the look on his face, all right, and and the apostle elder made made many points uh, concerning his facial expressions and and the way he. He expressed himself. Uh, he basically presented himself as a guy without any hope. Uh, he basically presented himself as a guy of no confidence, as a, as as a as a non-believer. All right, uh, he probably does not believe that that there's a Most High. So unlike unlike most of us in this here truth. All right, we're supposed to know who our true power is and who our savior is in times of trouble and distress. But but this guy, he's not calling on on the name of the Lord, nor nor his son. All right, he's not calling on on no Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, and all that. He's just saying that he he straight up hates his life. Blah blah blah. All right, he's completely shooting himself down. All right, uh, he has no 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 sense of, of guidance, no direction. All right, and and the apostle Elder Gabar said that 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 a guy like that, you know, the Most High could easily use a, as a, as a possible spirit of vengeance, you know, to to turn to turn down society, man. All right, because the, this the, this society that that we live in now, all right, uh, Esau's Esau's great white society, right? So called so called white society. All right, make make no mistake about it. The, 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 this place is modeled a, a, after a, a so called white uh, 
so-called white power structure. All right? Uh, the, this so-called white power structure is what causes many, many non-white looking people and, and, and even some of their own, you know, to shoot themselves in the head, all right, to want to wanna commit suicide, all right, to, 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 to look at themselves down, to shoot themselves down, have, have no sense of hope, all right, because th this society was built, it was purposely designed it was purposely set up like that, all right? It was purposely set up like that, all right? For for young guys like Kim, he he might be a so-called white guy. He, he, he looks like he might be a Jake, that guy. You know, he might be a Jake, a confusion of face, whatever, all right? But he has no, no knowledge himself, no... No sense of direction, no nothing at this point. All right, so so he's just shooting himself up in the ass, man, spiritually. All right, he he's just shooting himself up in the ass. He has no sense of direction whatsoever, man. All right, but like like the elder Gabar said in, in the video. We have the greatest hope, unlike others. And so I became inspired to come up with my, Lord willing, my, my own lesson. <clears throat> All right? Uh, based on this word called hope. Uh, because th there are many of us, especially us people of color, that, that this great white society basically... In, uh, indoctrinates us you know to to look to look down on ourselves all right to say to you know to look down on ourselves to hate on each other all right and i speak out of my own experience all right now in the video before i begin with the scriptures all right in the video you know i i wrote I wrote my own testimony on the comment board, which, Lord William, I don't mind sharing unto those of you that might watch. Um, I basically wrote, I wrote my 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 own testimony down here. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna really uh, read all of it. All right. Let's see if I find it. All right, just bear with me a moment. All right. Just bear with me a moment. Uh, you know, because the, the, the brother elder... <laughs> You know, he has a lot of subscribers and and people that see his videos. And uh, but but here it goes. All right. Okay, I'm I'm known as Ephraim Rises twelve seventeen. And I'm I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I'm just gonna uh, I'm just going to read out the first sentence. All right. And basically, I wrote this to, to the brother Elder Gabar. Uh, I wrote this out, and I quote, I sought out this truth quite early in my life after going through much tribulation in the early 90s. And Lord himself knows, uh, ain't no joke, no lie about that. There were times I felt just like that guy in that video. Only difference was the Lord wanted me to learn this truth, all right? So I leave it at that, okay? And the only difference, all right, because back in the early 90s when I was a little younger, all right, I, 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 I just read a little, bit, a little bit of the testimony. The Lord had me go through, through a lot of humility, a lot of bullshit, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of the traumatic experiences going on already. 
all right, uh, that dealt with loss of money. Um, I, my mother made, nearly became homeless at the time. But that's just a few of, 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 the, of the tribulations I got to know them. So after a while, I started really, really looking down on myself, man. Just, just like that guy in the video. All right. And, and so I, I, I gave a little testimony to, to the Apostle Gabar. And, and he wrote and he replied me, he, he, he replied back his reaction. And I'm going to read that to those of y'all that might be watching. All right. Now I'm going to read, you know, his, his only words were, the, the, these are the words of, of, of uh, Apostle Elder Gabar himself uh, from Daily Edification 4. He, he, his reaction was, now I enjoyed reading that testimony. Very heartfelt. All right. Very, the, 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 those were his words, man. All right, and so basically, um, I really found it like like an honor, you know that that the the brother w would react in such a way to my testimony. All right, and he said that that it was very heartfelt. All right, and other and another brother wrote wrote his other reactions. All right, another brother wrote. Uh, GMS Tanzania, all right, WW is here, and quote, Shalom, it's almost over, Akia. All right, then he wrote, hang in there tight and pray for mercy. Hey, that's what I try to do, man. That's what all of us should do. Pray for mercy in these last days, man. Do the best that we can in this here truth. That is the only means for survival. That is the, the our only hope. Our only ray of hope is, is the Lord. Our only best chance of surviving this present day hell is that face that you see right there. Uh, Yahweh Bahashan Yahweh man. Okay? He's our only hope, man. He's the only bit of hope I got in this white man society, man, okay, and, and, and a place that, that wants me to be less than nothing, less than zero, so you can understand, okay, the, the Lord is up there, I know he's up there, I know the angels are up there, because I, I, I have personally, I, I have personally also have, have also had spiritual dreams and visions and I'm not making this up. I'm seeing Yahweh Shai's face himself, man. I'm not making this up. So, so that, that, so that's another testimony that I share to the world this evening. All right, that there, there is a spirit world. There is, there is another dimension. And when the Lord comes back to this earth, He is coming back from that dimension. All right. To make his presence felt here and, and, and this this carnal piece of shit that, that we still live in, man. Alright? So so there you go. That, that hey, that's all there's to it now. Alright. So so for those of you that, that may want to read um my the rest of my testimony. Yeah, I am known as Ephraim Rises 1217. All right. And I also got a couple of other channels. All right. So just go to the Brother Elder Gabar's channel, Daily Edification 4, and, and watch and watch this very interesting show and topic that he gave. All right. Um concerning Concerning that young loser, the, this two-bit loser right here that 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 just has no no hope and guidance of his own life, man. All right, but those of us who are in this truth, all right, 
Well, we're supposed to hang on to hope. All right? We're supposed to be prisoners of hope and all that. All right? Plain and simple. So let me just close. Lord willing, let me close this window now. All right? And I'm going to go straight to the scriptures. All right? This is the book of Romans, the words of the Apostle Paul. Romans 15 and 13, where, where I drew inspiration and uh, in, 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 in the topic of tonight's show. Romans 15 and 13, and it reads this. Now the power of hope, now the power, now the power of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that ye may abound in hope. So there goes that word hope twice for you. All right. Now the power of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing. Believing in what? All right. B -b believing in your creator for one thing. Believing that there's a higher power. But believing that, that he brought forth a savior and so-called Christ, Yahawashai, to come back on this earth and deliver us from this present day shithole that we're in. All right? Uh, uh, un under this reincarnated Roman Empire system. All right? That we, that we as a people, uh, may abound in hope. All right? That ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. A Holy Spirit. All right. That's pretty much it right there. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to the book of Psalms. Most of the next couple of scriptures are, 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 really, are really off the book of Psalms. And I'll just read a few verses off of each chapter I'll go to. First one is Psalms 38. All right. Let's go to Psalms 38 real quick. Okay. All right. Okay. I found it. All right. I found the scripture I'm looking for, all right? But I'm going to read, I'm going to read a, a, a few verses off of this great scripture here before, before I get to the, to, to the, the, before I get to the main scripture, all right? Because the, the, this is how, I'm going to start with this verse here, all right? Out of, out of, you know, out of personal reasons, all right, and it might be yours as well. This is what this is what most of us as a people go through. This is how our enemies of uh, uh, this is how this is how they want to see us living in these last days, man. What do you think of uh, the, 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 this NWO New World Order system is all about? That they're getting ready to crash the dollar bill and everything. You understand what I'm saying? They want to try and push all of us so-called colored people. I'm a corner, man. All right? For those of us that, that won't sell out, that, that's what's going to happen. All right? But I'm going to start reading here, and it says, Psalms 38 and 6. I am troubled. I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. You see that this is how... This is how most of us are living. All right? They have they have us living in these in these ghettos and rat and roach infested apartments. They got us paying all all these hundreds of dollars to live in, in, in these shithole apartments. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 and, and these projects and so on. All right? Verse 7. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. All right? A, a lot of our people suffer from diseases. 
all right? Beginning with high blood pressure, heart disease, the, uh, the, the diabetes, got cancer, all right? Verse 38 and 8, I am feeble and sore broken. I have roared by reason of the disquietness in my heart. All right, a, a good example of that was the little guy that I showed you in Apostle Elder Gabar's video. He feels feeble and sore broken. All right, when you watch his video, listen carefully to the words that he says. All right. Those are the words of a person that feels feeble and sore broken. All right? Verse 9. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. All right? So our groaning, our complaints in Esau's great white society are not hid from the Most High's eyes. He sees and knows what we go through on a day-in, day-out basis, man. All right? Verse 10, my heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of my eyes, it is also gone from me. You see? No light, no hope, no nothing, man. All right? Verse 11, my lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sword, and my kinsmen stand far afar off. Almost nobody wants nothing to do with a nigga. Period. All right? The, 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 this great white society te teaches people to hate black people. Period. Nobody wants nothing to do with a nigger. Period. That, that, that's the way we live. Nobody wants to do nothing with the N-word, with the S-word, all right? Nobody wants to do nothing with, with, with the with the W-word, meaning wetback for so-called Mexicans, all right? Our people have been screwed over and, and rejected double time in this society, all right? Verse 12, they also that seek after my life lay snares for me. And who's the number one enemy at that? The so-called white man, the, the, the beginning with the top elite. They're the ones that are laying all these snares, all right? And they that seek my hurt speak mis mischievous things and imagine deceits all the day long, all right? That's our enemies for you. Okay? But I, as a deaf man, heard not. And I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus, I was as a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. All right? Now, 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 here's, now here's the one scripture. Now here's the number one verse right here. All right? And, and it says this, For in thee, O Lord, do I hope. All right? For in thee, O Most High, do I hope. Thou will hear, O Lord, my power. So, so that, 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 that's the, the nitty-gritty scripture right there. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope. Thou will hear, O Lord, my power. All right. Now, as far as, as Psalms 38 goes, I'll, I'll leave it right there. For those of you that, that may want to read the rest, you should understand that it's talking about us as a people. And, and, and the daily, the, the, the almost daily troubles that we go through in, in this society, man. All right. The troubles that they keep bringing unto us. All right. Day after day, month after month, year after year. All right? Our enemies will never give up plotting until the day the Lord cracks them clouds open. Plain and simple, man. All right? So just go to Psalms 38. All right? Now, going to go to Psalms. 
going to go to Psalms 37 real quick. All right? I will definitely read only one verse off of that one. A very good and powerful scripture too. All right? But one verse should do. All right? Psalms 37. All right? The, 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 this is one of my personal favorite scriptures, by the way. So, uh, so I'm going to read verse 34. All right. Psalms 37 and 34. It, it says this. All right. Check this out, man. Wait on the Lord. All right. And, and wait. Wait, wait. Wait on the Most High. Wait, wait for the Lord's triumphant return to this earth. All right? He himself has said in the scriptures, if I'm not mistaken in the book of Jeremiah, if I'm not mistaken, wait thee upon me that I may rise up unto the prey. All right? Wait thee upon me. We, we, we all, we should all wait. All right? No matter how much long it may take, all right, because because uh, uh, a lot of a lot of so-called a lot of so-called brothers lost their patience uh, after the year 2000 came. All right, a, a lot were believing that that the Lord would have returned by then. All right, there was no second coming yet. None of this happened yet. So so a lot of these so-called brothers. They, they, they quit the church back then, and they quit the faith altogether and went, went right back into the white man's world, man. You see what I'm saying? All, all that most high talk for nothing, most high this, most high that, and, 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 and some of these so-called brothers still be, be, be living, they be dropping out of Great Millstone today and other camps and so forth. All right, but it says here, wait, we must wait on, on the Lord. All right, not, not give up hope, not, not give up faith. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. And when the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. All right, there you go. So, so there, there is a great reward. And a great promise for those that wait on the Lord, man. All right? For those that don't give up as easily as those uh, individuals I just mentioned. All right? Okay? So I just read that verse. Let's go to, let's go to 27 now. Psalms 27. All right? I'm going to read one, one verse off of that as well. All right. Uh, Psalms 27, verse 14. All right. That, that is basically the, the last verse of this great encouraging scripture here. And it says this. There goes that word, wait again. Okay? Psalms 27 and 14, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. And he shall strengthen thine heart. If the Lord sees the kind of faith, all right, and resilience you have as a real man in this thing, all right, then he will strengthen your heart even more. Wait, I say on the Lord, the words of, of the great King David, man, okay? Wait on the Most High, be of good courage. A lot of us need to be of good courage in these last days, man, all right? Plain and simple, all right? Okay, so let, let, let's go to Psalms 37 again. And this time I'm going to read verse 19 off of it. All right. Oh, 
All right. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to start with verse 18. 30, Psalms 37 and 18. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. All right, verse 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. Now, now what, what evil time and days of famine is that talking about? It's, it's referencing to a, a not-too-distant future, man. All right? An evil time, an, an evil time like, like no other. All right? So, so says the, the book of Daniel, the 12 and 1. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was. All right? Okay? So, so we need to hang on in this thing, man. The Lord is saying here that those that remain faithful and strong will not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. So no matter how much, no matter how, how much all hell may be, may break loose out here, we must have faith that one way or the other, the Lord will keep nourishing us. He, he, will, he will provide the feed for his elect. By, by, by hey, we, 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 do, we do not know how. We must believe in miracles, man. All right? The, the, Lord, the Lord will find ways to, to keep us satisfied, abaratasa, and these dreadful and these dreadful times to come. Okay, plain and simple, man. Okay, let, let me just read verse twenty real quick. All right, the, the the future that beholds our enemies. All right, those that keep plotting uh, against our well-being. Okay, verse twenty says, "But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord." shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume, and to smoke shall, that, shall they consume away. All right? The, the, the two-thirds of our people, our own people who are nothing but enemies, adversaries at this point. All right? The, 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 the majority of these so-called white people out here in the other nations, they're going to be consumed away. They're turned into smoke and ashes, man, by, by, the, by, by the nuclear holocaust that, that's coming uh, off of World War III. Right now, we're, we're only in the beginning stages of World War III. All right? Okay, so that's what's coming, y'all. Now, let me see if I can go to Zechariah real quick. All right. Salakia, hold on. Oh, bear with me a moment. All right. Zachariah. All right. Let's see if I may find that scripture here. I'm looking for Zechariah 9 and 12. All right, let, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, here we go. Zechariah 9 and 12, it says this. Turn you to the stronghold, ye, per you, ye prisoners of hope. All right? We, we, we are prisoners of hope. All right? And in the time of this white man's rulership, all right, and his proud and, and oppressive rule over us at this present day time, we're supposed to, to be prisoners of hope, all right? Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. What What is that hope? 
I'll hope for a better future, a better tomorrow. And the name of Yahweh Baha Shan that 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 sooner or later he will crack them clouds open, come back with, with his with his mighty angels, all right, and return us, uh, people like me, those of his elect, to the rightful position that that we're supposed to be in. Because right now we are not. All right, that 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 that, that that's the whole bottom line here. That, that, that's part of the reasons the Lord is coming back to this earth, all right? To get us off this shithole, to get us, remove us out of all this, all these curses and present-day humility that we are in. The humility, okay? Okay? And, and, and there is a scripture that goes, humility must come before honor, all right? So right now we are still yet in our captivity, still yet, uh, uh, you know, still yet facing humility. All right, but but the scripture here promises: turn you to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. Well, what what what? What's the meaning of that? I will render double unto thee. It means that everything we have already lost on this side, the Lord will render. He will recompense double our losses. All right? Well, whether that loss has to do financially, whether it has to do with money, the majority of us are, are known in this white man society as the beggars, as the people with no money, we, we, we are known as, as, as those that live in, 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 in the urban and ghetto areas, okay? We are known as those that, that must depend on the government for survival, all right? To make ends meet in our homes, all right? We are known for all those negative things right now, all right? But the Lord will, 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 will render double all these losses, whether it has to do with money, or, or, or whether you lost a girlfriend or a wife, you understand what I'm saying? All these losses will be rendered double, okay? We're going to have double, okay? Plain and simple, man. We're going to have double, okay? All right? Plain and simple, man. All right. So I just read that part right there. All right. And Zechariah. Now, let's go to Romans 8 and 18. I'm going to finish it with that. All right. Book of Romans. Going back to Romans. All right. Romans 8 and 18. All right. Romans 8 and 18 says this. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right. I'm going to read that again. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right? So all the hell, all the misery, all the humility, all right, that people like me still got to deal with in this great white, white society of Esau, Esau, Eden, that they they like calling themselves white. They branded themselves that name. They are not really white because, because the book of Genesis 25 and 25 describes the, the true origin of, of their race. They did not they did not descend from a gorilla or a monkey like, like they like to show mankind that they did. All right. They really descended off a of so-called black man and black woman, 
named Isaac and Rebekah. All right? And Genesis 25 and 25 describes, all right, the first so-called white man as coming out, uh, and the first came out red all over, like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. All right? I Shashua. Wasted away is he, having no pigmentation, man. All right? But in and, and, and the late 1600s, all right, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 1681, I, I can't be 100% sure that, that that's when they that's when they started branding themselves by the name white. Okay? That's when they started calling themselves white. Okay? All right? And, and because of them, we have borne many bitter sufferings in this kingdom of theirs, man. They're mocking us, they're laughing at us, calling us names, um, um, you know, the, making us live in, in, in miserable conditions, all right? But the scripture says here, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present day time are not worthy to be compared with the glory, with the great future that lies ahead of the elect that hope and wait on the Lord, man. Plain and simple. All right? Okay, there's another scripture by Paul in Corinthians that goes, for our light of affliction, which is only but for a moment. All right? Let, let, let's look that up real quick. All right? For our light affliction, affliction, okay, and 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 this this great white society, the, 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 this so-called uh, home of the brave and land of the free, is really a place of affliction. For those of us people of color, it was designed to be that way. For us Israelites. Because there are other, there are plenty of other people of color that live and, and, and benefit in this here land, but they are not of our same people. They are not of our nationality, period. That's why they appear to prosper and everything. I'm talking about these coolie people, the so-called East Indians. They are people of color, but they are not of our nation. And they know that. They know that in the spirit. That's why many of them fucking look down on us. All right? The East Indians, the, the, the so-called Japanese and Chinese people. All right? These are all heathen nations, man. The so-called Africans. All right? M -m -m many of you so-called uh, African Americans that, that like going Africa, 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 Africa. All right? Those are your enemies, too. The people of Ham. All right? So so, so let, let, let's look up this scripture up real quick. All right? Yeah, 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. I'll end it with that. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, Worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. 